So in the earlier part, we have seen how to create the object of a bean inside JSP. But since we have the option of JSTL, which is JSP standard tag library, we can use something called as use bean. So in order to use use bean, uh, before that, let me do some modification. So if you can see what we are doing here, we are using the roll number, right? So what I can simply do is I can just uh, cut this part from here the whole part and say cut instead of assigning the roll number here we can just assign the value directly so we can just we can just reduce the number of lines required why i'm doing that is because when you use use bean this this concept is very powerful so if i just cut this part and paste it here so you can see uh, i have reduced some number of lines here so we can directly create the object and uh, fetch the value from the user and assign now let's say how to uh, implement this using use bin. So I will just uh, after this part, after this part, let me just create that object. Okay. Now uh, one one more thing, one more change I will make. Instead of using uh, key, one will say roll number, and we'll use s name here. Okay. So we have to make sure you're using, uh, you're you're giving the proper name. T1 also works, but we'll we'll make it uh, more proper. We'll say roll number and S name. Okay. So now what next? Now let's use use bin here. Now how to use use bin? Uh, we have to say since use bin is the part of JSTL, we need to you specify that it belongs to JSP prefix, and we'll say JSP colon use bin. Now. Now use bin says we need to provide this uh, this these things here. Now what are these things? These are first you have to mention the name of your object, you have to mention the class of your object, and then you have to mention the scope. So what we'll do here is we'll oh, we are remaining with one more thing. Before starting with that, sorry for this uh, confusion. What we'll do is we'll try to make it more attractive. You know. We'll, we'll create one more JSP and we'll call that JSP from this JSP so that we can we can see the real power of use bin. Okay, so we'll say request dispatcher and we'll say request dispatcher. We'll say rd equal to request dot get request uh -oh, this request dispatcher. In this, we'll mention the file name as display dot JSP. Okay, so we'll mention this part which is request.jsp and we'll say rd.forward by passing this to object. Now since we are calling display.jsp, I don't have a file here. So we'll create that file also. We'll say new uh, jsp and we'll name this as display.jsp and from here let me fetch that data. So if I try to fetch that data, Unfortunately, I will not be able to use that bin. Of course, it's because the by default, whenever you create an object, it belongs to only that scope, right? So I'm creating this bin object inside service. So the scope of that service will stay there. So in order to use that object here, so example, if I say in my body instead of this, if I say a tag of JSP, I don't want to create a new object. I want to use the same object. So I don't want to print this value here. I want to print those value on that page. So I'm creating the bin here and I'm assigning the values. That's it. I want to print those values on that page, on display page. So in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to pass the object from this page to that page. So in order to pass the object, what we do, you have to do is we have to say request dot, we have to say set attribute. And in this, you have to mention a name. We'll say that name is can say st obj or we'll say, say the, we can like to say st and we'll say st okay we can have any name here okay so once you set the name there go to display in order to fetch that we'll fetch as st equal to now in order to fetch we have to say request dot get attribute and then in this get attribute you have to mention the name of the object you need that is st this is the key value pair and since we have Finding this, we have to import the package. So in order to import the package, we have to say it is as percent at page import. 
and the package name is com.navin.student. Okay, and we'll still finish this. Now, once you say save, now, uh, now the problem is this get attribute will give you the object. What object I need here is I need a student object. Uh, so we have to specify the class name. So what we are doing is we are going for the conversion. Okay, we are going for the type casting here. Now once you got the object, we can print the values. We can simply say it's as print ln, and we'll print st dot get roll number. Not working. Okay, st dot get roll number, and we'll say out dot print ln. We'll say st dot get s name. Okay. Now, once you got these two values, we are done with the display page, we are done with the uh, load page, and we are done with index page. Let's let's run this. Now, if you run this application, it will open the same uh, view, which is let's say six, and this time we'll go for a new name called as Rahul. And if I say submit, you can see the answer is six and Rahul. And this page is displayed uh, because of this, which is display page. Okay, so we are passing, we are uh, printing values here. So that is six and Rahul. Now, instead of using this, we'll, we'll try to use use bin here. So what we are doing here, we are setting the object, we are creating the object, and we are setting the object in the request parameter. In fact, you can also pass set this into a session attribute. So we can use request attribute, we can use request scope, or you can also use session scope. So we have to mention that which scope you are working with. Is it the request, session, or a page, by default it will be page, or, or you can also use application. Uh, this time we are going for session. Uh, just for the confirmation, let me rerun the code. Okay, just to make your uh, thing clear, let's again go back to four, and we'll say this time Mahesh, and submit query, it is for Mahesh, right? It's working, right? So we are doing all these updates and it's still working. Now instead of using this object, finally we are going to use use bin. So here, uh, instead of that, let me just uh, come here. And how to use use bin? So you have to say JSP colon. There's something called as use bin. First thing you have to mention is the ID. So ID is like the object name, which is ST here. So we cannot use ST because we cannot create two objects with the same name. We'll, this time we'll say ST1. Then you have to mention the class name, which is com dot novin dot student. So we don't have to import the package because we are going for the qualified name here. And then you have to mention the scope. The scope I'm working with is session here. So you, you can see we are using a session scope here. So we can use session scope here. So mind you, I'm going for the replacement code for this thing here. I get this part, in fact, the whole part. Now once you got the session object, let's finish it. So this is how you have to create the object of use bin. Then question arise, so we are, we are done with this part, okay? Now what about this setting values? So in order to set the values, what we can do is we can use JSP colon, there's something called as set property. In this set property, you have to mention the property name, which is roll number, and the value you'll be getting here is from uh, this part. So this is, your, this is, this is where, you're from, you're, from where you're getting the values, right? So we'll, we'll use here something called as, uh, uh, expression tag. So we'll use expression tag here. And using expression tag, we can fetch this value. So we can just copy paste this code. So copy and paste. And for next property, we need to set the property with for s name. Oh, I forgot to close here. Let me give an enter so that we, it will be visible. In fact, it will work in the same line now. So now if I mention the value, let me close the JSP parameter here, which is uh, JSP set property close. Okay, set property is closed now. Now let's set the next property, which is, <coughs> excuse me, let's set, am I missing something here? Bracket is closed, integer passing, still gives an error. Is that error here? It says remove surrounding tags. Do I have a tag here? No tags. Okay, so JSP property close. 
should work now. Okay, I'm getting an error, so let's sort it out. I think I don't need to convert here. Is that the problem it's saying? So that's the expression tag I'm using. And we'll say that. Okay, so I don't think there's an error here. It's something else. So let's come down and this time we'll say this is S name. And we'll getting we'll get we will getting the value for for S name will be from this. So now once you got the name, uh, we need to provide the name also. So name the of the object will be the object name here is st1. And the name of the object here will be also st1. So this is something, this is same like this part. So st dot set roll number. So we are saying st1 dot set roll number, st1 dot set name, and this is the value. Simple. So the replacement for this code is here. Simple, right? So now when, once we are done with the set property, now we need to use the same thing here. Now if you can observe, I'm not setting any value on this side. I'm not setting any attribute, but still it should work. And we'll, we'll write this code after use bin. So we'll say use bin, property tag, JSP scriptlet. We'll forward it. And we'll call jsp.servlet. So once you use this thing, we don't need to mention this part. Okay, so I will just comment this part, the whole uh, scriptlet block. Let me just comment it. Okay. Now let's go back to JSP here, display. Now if you saw, if you see this display, instead of using st1, I need to use uh, instead of using st, I need to use st1. But since I, I'll be using a scriptlet tag here, oh, sorry, a use bin tag here, I don't need to mention that. I can simply say, simply say uh, JSP colon use bin. Again, you have to mention the ID, which is, we'll say this time it is, <coughs> excuse me. This is ST1, name of the class, which will be com dot navin dot student. And we'll mention the scope, which is session. Okay, and let's finish this. So once you got done with the JSP, now we need to just fetch the value. How to fetch value? So to fetch the value, we have something called as get property. We'll say get property here, and we'll mention the name of the object, which is ST1, and the name of the property you have to fetch value is roll number. Okay, and same thing you have to done do you have to complete for S name. So we'll say this is S name, and that's it. This is this is how we need to use use bin. Since we are using use bin, we don't need this comment here. We'll say comment this part. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing from index.jsp, I'm calling load.jsp. Load.jsp, I'm setting the value. And here, I'm just, uh, instead of using a normal bin object, I'm creating a use bin in which I'm specifying the object. So when you call this object, it will search for this session. In this session, do we have object st1? If it is there, it will use the same object. If it is not there, it will create the new object. So this line is very important. When you call a use bin, and in that, if you have an ID which is st1, it will check for that st1 in the session object. If st1 is dead in session object, it will use the same instance. It will not create new instance. But in case, if st1 is not there, it will create the new instance. For the first time in session, I don't have st1, so it will create that instance. It will set the property using this code and then it will forward the request. In this scenario, once you, when you call it, you already have ST1 in session scope. You already have that. So it will not create the new instance. It will use the same instance. And the value for those instances will be the value passed by the user. So we don't need to set any attribute here, which we have done in this scenario. Okay, so you can reduce the number of lines required. And this is more HTML friendly code. Okay, so let's run this just to confirm the code. If you run this, it will ask you for, let's say, 9 and let's say, Archana. And if I say submit the query, oh, there's an error. So the error is 9 number 21. Oh, so we need to pass, we need to set, we need to convert that into integer. 
Is that the problem? Let's let's verify once again. Okay, it's not the page. This is the page. It says an exception occur was the root cause argument type mismatch. So when you say type mismatch, it's so it is it is expecting a number, uh, so I have to convert it. So I have to say integer dot pass int. I have removed that in the earlier scenario when I was getting the error. So, yes. Okay. So if I run this now, <coughs> and if I say nine, and Archana, and if I say submit query, and there you answer. Right. So we can also use use bin instead of using the object creation directly. Now in this next part, what I will show you is some shortcuts. So that it will reduce more num it will reduce all these lines. So in fact, you don't have to write this two times. In fact, you can write this one time. How to do that exactly? That we'll see in the next part of the tutorial.